Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, about, well, two or three months ago I purchased an HC06 Bluetooth controller, just a uh, relatively inexpensive unit on eBay. And at the time I had a crappy old BlackBerry device that had a lot of trouble communicating with it. And only recently I got a uh, an Android phone, Samsung uh, Galaxy phone, and... I played with the code this morning that I had before, and I was able to get it to work. Uh, what I did was I downloaded a uh, a piece of uh, an app, a free app on the App Store uh, called Robo Remo. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all unlock my phone, and I'm going to plug in the, the plug in the Arduino. I've got a nine volt adapter here. And as soon as I plug it in, the uh, Bluetooth controller will flash. I'm going to open up Robo Remo, and what I've done is I've already created a user interface which we're going to use. I've simply uh, uh, made two buttons. The third button is just for fun. It says "Pad is awesome." <laughs> uh, anyhow, I've got the transmitter, the receiver, lines connected from the uh, Bluetooth controller to the Arduino, 3.3 volts power supply, and ground. And to use Robo Remo, it's actually very easy. But first of all, I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to connect. I've already synced to this specific Bluetooth controller. And HC06, I'm going to connect to it on port 1. Now, all this code does is toggle an LED, but it's like wiggle your big toe. If you've ever seen Kill Bill, once you've uh, got the basic functionality of something, you can usually... Uh, you can usually get it to work relatively fast. Anyhow, so we've connected to it. The LED on the Bluetooth controller has stopped blinking. We are now synced and connected between the Bluetooth transceiver in the phone to the uh, Bluetooth transceiver here, the HC06. So now, I'm not connected to my computer or anything. I'm going to press on and uh, output 13, uh, which is connected to an onboard LED, turns on. If I press off, it turns it off. So, wiggle, wiggle your big toe. I've got this working. Now I can do whatever I want. I can make a nice crazy UI, do all sorts of different neat stuff. I'll press on again. Now, this is very simple. Now, the problem with the Robo Remo free version, which is what I have right now, is it only limits you to five buttons. Now, that's not including the menu button, but I've got on, off, and pad is awesome, which doesn't do anything right now. And what I want to do is I've got a whole bunch of different ideas for this circuit, a ton of them. But I'm going to need a heck of a lot more than five buttons, so I'm going to have to cough up the $8 to uh, to purchase it. But it's been very easy, very user-friendly. There's a manual online that really gives you all you need to know relatively fast. To actually get this working today, uh, it probably took me half an hour. So I was uh, very fortunate. So uh, on and off. So with, with five buttons, I can still do a fair bit. I can I can control four relays. I can make a, a low end Bluetooth combination lock. I can do a bunch of stuff. But with with uh, the purchase version, the seven dollar or eight dollar version, I can do a heck of a lot more. And I'm actually thinking that'll be the first app I've ever paid for. In any case, I just wanted to share it. The circuit is very simple. You don't need to your computer. And the range on this, I can go to the opposite side of the house and uh, with no issue control this unit. So with a, f with a few more buttons on the interface uh, really the the uh, applications are endless. So I just wanted to share it. If you, uh, if you have a chance you can buy one of these HC06 Bluetooth con uh, controller boards on eBay for 10 bucks or so, 10 bucks or less. Robo Remo, there's a, there's a free version, just uh, search R-O-B-O-R-E-M-O -E on the App Store. Very easy to use. Check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys.